Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Today we get to gush more about archaeology, which is one of my favorite things to do in the world, and we maybe bite off something a little bit bigger than we can chew, so hopefully you all enjoy and I will see you in a moment. What makes the tomb so dangerous? From what I've been told, the tombs have old traps and machines that are still active. They were designed to keep out intruders when they were made, and still do. I suppose if the Academy wanted to make a concerted effort, the tomb would be opened. But I think Master Uthar prefers to keep it as a challenge for the students. <laughs> what do you know about the sword's power? Or no? Uh... Yeah. Nothing at all. The legends don't say anything about it. It may have had powers only for Ajanta alone. Well, why don't you go in then? No. These tombs are certainly not harmless. Don't think that. The sword may be tempting, but... I'm not about to risk my life to find it. Hmm... Gain prestige? Certainly. Finding such an artifact and giving it to Master Uthar would earn anyone big points. Although I suppose you could also keep it. I think that's what Uthar would technically prefer. <laughs> there is good in them. I can feel it. Oh, Gaul. I actually haven't seen the mummy. It scared me as a kid. I just saw little bits of it and it scared me. That's the problem. Uh, actually, archaeologists, like modern day archaeologists, have a lot, like, uh, a, a lot of them get very um, upset about, um, or at least there's a lot of, like, outreach programs that try to, like, to, like, teach people what archaeologists actually do because everybody thinks being an archaeologist is this grand swashbuckling adventure and that you get, like, you keep all these artifacts and then you're, like, fabulously wealthy, potentially. But, like, that's very illegal. <laughs> that's very, very, very illegal and unethical. And that's just not how it works anymore, you know? It was kind of back in the day, but those people weren't really archaeologists. They were, like looters who had a lot of money in the first place to have access to these places and yeah so that's what a lot of modern archaeologists like try to like combat with uh, with with modern like educational like little modules and classes and stuff and like public outreach is like we don't steal stuff and then make, you know, have a lot of money. We actually are all paid pretty crap. And everything stays with what's who it's supposed to, at least at least for the most part. Oh, I've got to be going. Of course. Um, don't let me keep you from your business. Have I ever felt the temptation to take something? Yeah, of course. There's some really amazing things I've found. You're out here to look for... Uh, yeah, I am! I've been so excited for this place for so long. I found some pretty cool things that, of course, I just wanted to Sorry, keep. Sorry, I can't talk. We have to excavate this valley with hand I instruments. Am There's all kinds of old an traps adult left behind that still work. And a professional. And I don't actually want to keep it. You know, like I, it, I want it to stay where it belongs. Careful of the Tukata. It's all we can do to keep those beasts away. But while there's we work. still cool stuff. That part of me goes for a second. Oh man, I would love to keep this. You know, because I'm like a little goblin. Sorry, I'm rather busy with the excavation. Oh right my now. gosh, it's so, it's like they talk to real archaeologists. The tomb on the far left. There, it's okay. off limits. Only Master Uthar oh can go inside. Oh my gosh, all the archaeologists are. You're no. Ooh, yeah, I think only a couple of the students. Heck yeah, they're all female except for the two guys we talked to. Um, wait, 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 wait. Mm. No, nope. okay, yeah. Far left. He's there, he's a dude. Limits. Only Master and he's Uthar a dude. Can go inside. But the the ones that are actually labeled Sith archaeologists are all women. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> The ones doing all the work are women. It's that's actually a good point. <laughs> they are. Oh, it's interesting. It's interesting. It's probably just for e convenience's sake, honestly, like coding wise. But they pro I think they all look exactly the same too. Like none of them look different. Can I do this? And to be fair, the two dudes are like c carbon copies of each other too. I revised my earlier statement. 
patriarchy is an evil, evil. It's an actually a feminist icon. Hell yeah. <laughs> Although, to be fair, we need to get these women in um, more uh, like leadership roles. Although, if she's planning the dig, she's technically probably the dig supervisor, and these guys are just like... The two, the two dudes are just, like, random guys that are, like, working on, like, runic inscriptions and stuff. Because if you're planning the dig, then you're in charge of it, so. Mm. Stop. Oh, my gosh. Dude, you just went out to the bathroom, too, like, an hour ago. Like, what's your problem? Ugh. All right, maybe I will pause for a second while I take the dog out because if he has to go to the bathroom, then I'm gonna take him out. But this is such a nice or such a cool area, and like they actually look like they're doing excavations and like they actually talk like they know what they're talking about. <laughs> I'm like afraid to go into any of these um, places though. Although, well, maybe, could I go into any of them? This one has the potential sword. That one's full of uh, crazy droids. That one's off limits, technically. Is this one? Can I go in this one? I will definitely save first. This one. Oh, shoot. Um, does it. Oh, it does. Good. Okay. Uh, Yuntas Pauls. That's the sword one. Two Accord. We don't know much about. Nagasado and Marco Ragnos. Okay. Let's go, let's go have a peek -see if we can. I don't know if we can go in, I think we can actually because they all have like door icons. Let's go have a peek -see. Oh, this is so cool. Look at that. Alright, alright, alright. Save. Oh, oh, oh. I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm so excited. Tubes. Okay. Average flash mine. All right, I know I cannot take that out, technically. Oh, dang. They did, they added extra stuff to the sides in this, in this wider version. Yeah. Like, I didn't really notice it being wider from my perspective until now. I'm gonna leave the droid alone. Alone for now. Disable it. Maybe I should bring Johanny just because she's a Jedi as well. Alright, okay, okay, force. Maybe having <laughs> Jolie here isn't great. <laughs> having two force people maybe isn't great. Maybe I should bring Candras. Um, we'll see. We'll see how this one goes. Ready. Ready. Oh. Ah, like that. Oh, okay, not too bad. I don't. Nothing happened when Jolie used that ability. This one. What? We do have two people who can heal, though, which is nice. Fragment. Oh, you failed. How unfortunate. Oh, crap. Oh, no. It's gonna blow up on me in there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. A dire Tukata. Oh, my gosh. Oh, jeez. Oh. 
gotten it. Okay, all right, okay. Not too bad. Never too old for this. You know it's all when it's dire, it's true. It's a dire situation, oh my. How'd you like that? Up to brute. okay. I just wanted to look around. Everybody, everybody's attacking. The restorations and graphics are based on both. Oh, but you don't remember the stuff on the side menus. How'd you like that? Not this again. Maybe they're there. Never paid attention. Maybe. We just changed um, the resolution in game. Like this is kind of an experiment run, honestly. Um, to make sure everything's gonna work for when I upload it to YouTube, because I will be uploading them to YouTube fairly soon. So I wanted to make sure everything was gonna work well. Like, because I was trying to upgrade it, because the last few video or the last several videos on YouTube have been pretty poor quality just because the stream, the bitrate was really low a long time ago. So this is, this is us experimenting. Are these ruins, like, caving in on us? Holy cow! Um, system status pending. I can't, I can't do anything? Oh. Uh, we'll open the door. <laughs> Unlocking access door number 44. Thanks. Every, uh, oh, th thank you. Okay, apparently I chose this route, and this is the route we will be taking. Oh, hello. Now I'm suspicious. There's a corpse here. Mandalorian battle armor. I have lots of that. Mm -hmm. ah! Oh, jeez. It's a trap. It's a trap. I knew it was a trap. I knew it. I knew it because there was a dead guy there. I knew there was going to be something wrong. <laughs> Another idiot. What's wrong with your eyes? My little web, eh? Well, the contact nerve toxin in the air should knock you out quickly enough. <laughs> Welcome. What's going on? Awake already, are you? Good. This is <gasps> oh, he's the crazy guy. Black Horde, if you don't know. I've taken up residence here for now. It's dusty and full of critters, but. I demand to be released at once. Who are you? Oh, yes. Introduction. He's the crazy course. Sith hermit. I suppose it is time, isn't it? This other student here that I <gasps> should Mikkel! You should know well enough. His name is... Mikkel! Say hello, Mikkel. <laughs> Poor lad. He's had a hard day. My name is Jorak Earl. He's one of the guys who was competing guy. with me. So I'm sure you've heard of me. Uh, Mekel, or however you say his name, he was a student with me in the, my group trying to, uh, like, become a full-fledged Sith or whatever. The old hermit in hiding? What? <laughs> old hermit? Can't that blasted Uthar teach a single thing right these days? Slander! That's what it is. Anyhow, I'd like to propose that we move on to the main event. You see, I'd like to discover if you've got the pluck of an old-fashioned Sith. Most of the Drek Uthar has been passing through these days is so pathetic. Take young Miko here. I already tested him, didn't I, Miko? Uh, I... Uh... Yes. Oh, jeez. You're welcome. You see, Miko here has the cruel disposition of a Sith, but not the gumption that I'm looking for. And if I pass your test? Why then you go free. I'll tell you what, I'll even pass on to you my own oh, thesis on ancient Th Sith. Thanks! Galaxies. They're based on all I've learned studying Tulak's tomb. They'll make you a better Sith, I'm sure. The chances of you passing, however, are sadly remote. 
Um, what if I refuse to take your test? Well, forgive me for resorting to the cliché, but you would die, of course. Um, you're a madman. Ah, what? What's a little mental instability between tutor and pupil? What's important is that I'm here to better the Sith as a whole. It's a big job. Uh, go ahead. Do your worst. No, no. Is that any kind of attitude to take with higher Oh, my education? God! I'm doing you a favor. Oh, my God! So then, <laughs> this is how it goes. I'm going to pose a moral oh, question no. to you. Get it right, and I call <gasps> Miko. Get it wrong? And I oh no! You, but what? Miko here is a bit weak. He probably won't be able to take no! much. No! Mind you, get too many wrong, and you'll die yourself. I don't know what you think of Miko. Maybe you don't like him. Maybe you think he deserves to be murdered. Well, here's your chance. Fair enough. Uh, I don't remember if Miko did anything in particular that is worth, like, watching him die slowly. Uh, what if Miko dies? Then you win. If you die, then he wins. I thought this was I thought he was already out of the running. Did you not grasp the concept earlier? Well then, any last comments before we begin, Miko? <sighs> We can both survive. Attack him together. Now, now, dear lad. Do you really think your friend here will answer questions wrong just to spare little you risking their own life? And how many correctly answered questions before you die? Hmm? No, don't be silly. You had your chance, remember? On that note, let's begin. Now then, your immediate superior amongst the Sith is an effective commander and a fine leader. He trusts you and you like him. You see an opportunity to kill him. What do you do? Um. Oh, geez, I don't know. I might try to. I don't know. I don't know. I think morally it's not a good idea to watch Mikhail, like, die in front of me just to keep me alive. But if we can somehow, like, spread the damage out between us and we can both attack this guy, like, maybe? But then what will happen after? Like, what will Miko do, you know? Will he, like, try to kill me? Blah, blah, blah. Um... I use the opportunity to kill him. This is what you actually do as an ancient Sith. Kill him in secret and put the blame on someone else. Incorrect. <gasps> Do that and no one. No! You derive no benefit from the kill, and neither did the Sith. We are not savages, you know. Ah, well, it's time for you. I should have punishment. taken his position then. Ah! So you come to round two. You come across a group of humans who are threatened by dangerous animals. They plead for help, offering you a reward. What? Do you do? Um. I. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I should ask, answer wrong, or I don't know. I accept the reward and assist them. So you've made a profit, and now you have some sniveling, useless fools trading after you. No, 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 no. Bad idea, bad idea. At any rate, here is your punishment. Follow your heart. I'll do my best. Let's see. Ah, yes. You discover an aspect of the force that gives you great power. Do you share it? And oh, I don't know what you want, man. Or keep it to yourself. An ancient Sith wouldn't share it, uh, legitimately. I mean, the first one I see makes sense. Like you have, like you have, you need to have somebody in power. But if this is like not necessarily the ancient Sith, but the Sith were like you're not operating as a well. No, I don't know. I guess I'm thinking too much like Bane with the rule of two. 
where it's like you need to keep things for yourself, and that's what strengthens the Sith as a whole. Uh... Right, it almost, it's true, it's almost like he doesn't give a crap about my answers. Maybe every time I answer, I'm gonna give a wrong answer, because he's gonna logic his way around it. Like, he's gonna change his logic with every answer, you know? Um... I, I share it. I, I don't know. I, to strengthen this up as a whole. You gain ah, it. Ah, see? You share it freely? Let them rip the secret from my dead hands, I say. You're I changing mean, your answers. Are you mad? Oh. Well, you did ask for this. It's for your own good. Still going? All right, then. One of your underlings has made a major mistake which makes you look bad. He's normally very competent and skilled. Do you kill him or give him another chance? Oh, jeez. Forget it. I'm done. You're not trying to make me angry, are you? That would be pointless posturing on your part. Is this so hard? Hm. Not that good help is easy to find. Oh, well. Here's your reward. Oh no! You're about to die. Do you pass on your knowledge to your apprentice to make him stronger? Or do you use your last breath to strike at your enemies? I won't give you the satisfaction of an answer! Huh. Such insolent students I get these days. You deserve this. And then some. I'll enjoy this one. Time for your medicine! Now, this is <gasps> the test is over on your boss. Oh my goodness! Alive. Well, that's never happened before. Hmm. What to do? What to do? You can go, Miko. I'll have to just figure out what to do with our. What? Why does he get to leave? Along now. Or, well, I could use the force to free them, and we could kill you. Seems you didn't think. Of He's that actually gonna you. help me. What? Mutiny! Behave, students. I'll. That's it. Detention. I didn't think he'd help me. Detention. I didn't think he would actually help me, but he did. Okay. Actually, I can level up, and then I'll. I think I get health for leveling up. I need. I need to put persuade up a bit. I think. Uh, for using double bladed weapons. One uh, or two weapons. By two two for total of minus two main hand minus two offhand. Use of a balanced weapon in the offhand can further reduce the attack penalty. Okay. There's the oh wait, master empathy. I think I I need to get I need to make sure my persuade skill is up, don't I? By the end of the game. Or all blaster bolt deflection rolls. Okay. Cool. Hmm. See, the Master Empathy, the Weapon Lightsaber Specialization, or the Upgraded Jedi Defense. What's this? Oh yeah. Hmm. 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 What's this one? A power attack. Okay. Yeah, I'll do empathy. It might be it might be overkill at this point, but it's fine. Mm -hmm. 
I also kind of want to make sure I have abilities that I can use that aren't necessarily like force powers that I need like I need stuff that will help buff me and stuff. Plus two. I can't upgrade lightning any further. I need to be level 18. I don't know what level I am, actually. But. Whirlwind. Oh, you said there's drain life. And there's. Cancel first and second tier force powers. Oh. What's the drain? Oh, extra options will appear in conversations. Success is not guaranteed. This power does not affect droids. Okay, this is, is a unique thing to me. What's the one where I can drain force, you said? Might have been a power encoder too. Okay, because we have drain life. Oh, power is to drain the life of others to heal themselves. Yeah. First breach insanity. Do -do. Right, drain force. Yeah, but I don't there's that is that's not here, right? Oh my gosh, that's right, I could get choke. I'm gonna get choke. I forgot I forgot about that one. Let's do it. Okay, let's try to choke him. I don't know if it'll work. It didn't work. <laughs> I let me see. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> no. Let's see if I can push him. Oh, hey, Jolie's still here. Oh no, leave him alone. Leave Jolie alone. Oh, he's choking all of us. Oh, jeez, he's choking all of us. Oh, jeez, you choked us too. What a jerk. You asked for oh, and you're here too. Where, where are you? Oh, he's not even doing anything. Karth is just watching us die. Oh, Karth, you're useless. What? What? He says. Leave Jolie alone. Jolie's about to die. Oh no. Oh no. I couldn't heal him in time. No. Oh, and Caden, what's Caden? Oh, Caden's like being mind affected. Oh, dang, and Jolie's the one with like all the like force protection powers. Dang it. What? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, God, you guys are terrible. Uh, I don't have any. Or for maybe can I use force resistance? For no, right before I was gonna use force resistance. Oh. Let me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Uh -huh. Oh no. I'm here. Don't make me go through all this again. No. Yeah. Why is Michael still alive? Hang on, let's let's we're, we're throwing in grenades here now. Crap, we're incapacitated. Oh, everybody's dead. Everybody's dead. oh no, now we can't throw grenades in. This is a this is a foolhardy endeavor. Oh god, I got owned. I got absolutely owned. Oh my gosh, we're gonna oh my gosh, we have to go through all that again. No! I don't want to do it again. Yeah, I should probably end this stream here, to be honest. And get ready to go pick up my groceries so I don't lose my spot. Um, 
But yeah, thanks guys for hanging out. Probably tomorrow I'll pick up Zelda again. That's a good idea, Lemzy. And yeah, I feel like that today went well. I'm gonna check the VOD on the stream, make sure everything worked well, but hopefully this setup will continue to work, so. But thanks for stopping in, friends. I'll be back. I'll be back tomorrow to join you on your on your various quarantine adventures. So, bye-bye.